In this session, we will continue with Quantum Christian with Powerful Living, and particularly we will look at praying in spirit. So let's look at Ephesians chapter 6, verses 14 to 18. Stand therefore, having your learned loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. In this record, Paul provides details about the full armor of God and how we are to stand during the everyday living of our lives. He uses words in the figurative sense, describing physical pieces of armor to help us understand the spiritual full armor of God that is available for us to use in this spiritual war or battle. He writes following on logically from what was previously written. And of course, that's referring to Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 13. He says, it is imperative or you must. It is imperative that you stand. How? Having girded your loin about in truth. So that means we stand, having already girded yourselves or ourselves, holy people, Christians, encircling your loin or put on that which girds as a girdle, encompassing the area between the thighs and the ribs within the sphere of action of truth. That which issues from God having the quality of truth, the essential reality, God's inherent verity. It's the state of being true. So having girded your loin about or around in truth. This is likened to a girdle that girds up the flowing robes of Orientals while engaged in any business, such as service or conflict holding tightly to God's truth, holding it fast around you without letting it go and fly in the wind where you cannot get hold of it quickly, causing you to slow down. This is what holds and keeps you ready and able to quickly move in this spiritual wrestling war or battle. So that's one of the things that we have when we stand. And having clothed yourselves with the breastplate of righteousness. So we stand whereby we have already enveloped ourselves, put on as a garment by going inside of it. What? With the breastplate, the thorax, the part of the body which protects the chest area. And our breastplate consists of righteousness justness, justice, the attributes of justification. We are righteous. We have the quality of being and doing what is right and just from God's viewpoint. So here, the breastplate is that part of armor which is worn to protect the chest area, which contains a person's heart and lungs and many other vital organs to maintain physical life. The breastplate that provides protection for your spiritual vital organs is made of the righteousness that God has made all holy people, every Christian, to be spiritually in Christ Jesus. And having bound under your feet in the preparation of the good message of peace. And that means that you stand having already bound underneath your feet. You know, that's as putting shoes on your own feet within the sphere of action of the preparation of the good message, the readiness. That's what preparation means. You're ready. The readiness pertaining to the gospel or the evangel. That's the good message. And it consists of peace, the peace. That's God's peace. We have tranquil harmony, tranquility, peaceful wholeness, the quality and state of all holy people, Christians, being without any strife or disagreement with God in the spirit category. 
This is similar to how you would tie your sandals or put on your shoes on your own feet so that you could walk on them and not get hurt by stones or other things that are on the ground as you walk and to help you keep the heavier dirt of the ground from yourselves. All holy people, Christians, are to use the support provided from the preparation of the good message of the peace. So these are the three parts of the full armor of God which you must use, put on yourselves, as in the process of getting dressed. And next we have two more parts of the full armor of God, which are the defensive weapons. So item number four is, in all things, having taken up the shield of the belief in which you will be able to quench all the missiles of the evil one, having been set on fire and continuing set on fire. What does that mean? So it means we should stand within the sphere of action of all things, in everything, during every situation or circumstance that we are in as we live our lives, having already taken up, received, take in an upward direction so as to use the shield and a shield is a defensive weapon that is like a door or a stone used for closing the entrance of a cave or a house because it's large and oblong and it is used to stop penetration from outside into the inside. Our shield consists of the belief or the faith and that refers to the information that God makes known to have confidence in with assured certainty and surety. What God gives us to believe. So our shield is the belief that God gives us to believe in that circumstance or situation. And it is within this sphere of action of this shield that you will be able to quench. We will be able to quench. We will have the able power, the ability, the capability to quench or extinguish as putting out the light of a fire. Quench what? All the missiles of the evil one, every one of them, all of the thrown weapons, all of the devil spirits, which are angels as darts, arrows, javelins, belonging to and issuing from the one who is actively malignant. And of course, that's referring to Satan, the devil, who has many different names corresponding to the different characteristics or activities that he does which that particular name describes. And you know, the term evil one emphasizes that the devil is evil, his evilness. The one who is the originator of the bad and malignant things against God. And those missiles that the evil one fires, they have already been set on fire. And these missiles continue set on fire. They don't get quenched as they're being thrown at you. So they have been ignited and they are still burning, trying to penetrate your full armor of God. So remember, put on that full armor and you will not be hit by those missiles from the evil one that have been set on fire. They have been inflamed and glowing with heat as a furnace fired up by the evil one as they approach you in various attempts to penetrate your defenses and injure you. The evil one is not passive. He is not lying back and relaxing and not doing anything. He is very active in this world. He is evil.